We've heard a lot of talk about change this year. The question is, change to what? To me, change is a government that doesn't let banks and oil companies rip off the American people. People say things when they're running because they don't know the powers that really control the house that they're going to live in. White folks I work with ain't so bad. That's why I say America needs a regime change or the American people will never have what the Constitution guarantees. Is that what you're worried about? You think Barack Obama can do that? No. Bullshit. Absolutely not. So what are you saying? I'm saying that no matter who sits in the White House, if you don't uproot the structure that corrupts them, you still don't have a president. You have a figurehead. So when you look at Bush, you think you're looking at the president? There's another power behind him. When you look at Blair, you think you're looking at the, the, the prime minister? But there's another power behind these people. And the powers that are dogging the whole world are the international bankers that finance both sides of a conflict. You see, the real value of a conflict, the true value, is in the debt that it creates. You control the debt, you control everything. This is the very essence of the banking industry. Their objective isn't to control the conflict. This is not about making profit from weapon sales. It's to control the debt that the conflict produces. To make us all slaves to debt. So the people that bankroll you, they're the ones that ultimately call the tune. You find this upsetting, yes? How far up your ass does this guy's dick have to be before you realize he's fucking you? What is the uh, proper relationship, what should be the proper relationship between the chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? What the relationships are, I don't frankly know. Hold on a minute, something's slapping my ass. Hey, he's fucking us! There is no other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. And I said, I don't think the members of Congress uh, really know how little effect they have in controlling things. Really, this, uh, and that means that the Congress itself doesn't have much control. The people doesn't have much. To, they don't have much to say about it either. The control of overall policy is really in the hands of a very small number of people who control all the administrations, all the appointments to cabinets, and certainly all the appointments to the Federal Reserve. And so my first question is, yes or no, do you support the concept of having the presidents of each of the Federal Reserve banks join the ranks of your Board of Governors and be nominated by the President and confirmed by the Senate to have a more representative Fed? No. Wait a minute. Something slapped in my ass. Hey! He's fucking done! Elected Ben Bernanke, and yeah. who elected Alan Greenspan? Oh, He's thank the most you for saying that. I was... America, and nobody elected them. I was just going to say, <laughs> did anybody notice they're not talking about who was in that room representing you, America? I want you to walk with me. I got lawyers up here, lawyers down there, politicians up here, politicians down there. Let's walk through this criminal enterprise. Walk through it. Walk through it. I gotta say. You're dealing with a criminal government here. The 
These are criminals in power. Because I really don't care no more about what anybody thinks. If you don't have the testicular fortitude to say what needs to be said, then sit down and stop trying to say you speak for our people and the hurt of the poor. Now I close. Excuse me. I think I'm getting excited. Now, I may sound radical to you. I may, I may sound like I've gone off a little, but I want to prove what I just said. See, these are criminals. Maybe not in your eyes, but you can't see. Right now, you see your government as a tree, immovable, strong and powerful like a tree. You don't see as you should see the mannequins in the window of the democratic store. They're dressed beautifully. They want you to try on democracy. This country don't give a damn about democracy. They're tricking you. This thing called democracy is a trick. Even right now, register to vote. Who the hell you gonna vote for? Go ahead. Who you voting for? Well, thank God, we can get rid of Bush. You a fool. You mean you got hope in this corrupt political system? Do you really think that this corrupt political system is going to really serve our needs? What the hell is wrong with you? That you're going to sacrifice your children and your grandchildren on the false hope you've been took. Like Brother Malcolm said, you've been had. You've been hoodwinked. You've been bamboozled. And you're ready to be bamboozled one more time. Not now. Come on. Clearly, something is wrong. Yeah. Wrong with the government in which we live. Wrong with the leaders that lead us. Wrong with us in the way we respond to our enemy and each other. This nation is not about poor people. Whether they're black, brown, red, yellow, or white, this nation is about rich people, privileged people, powerful people, and to hell with the weak, the poor, they must serve. Now, we are a universal people. But those at the top, they're on their way to hell. And if I got any power, I want to push them into hell as fast as I can.